In this video, I'm going to introduce to you uh, what we mean by quadratics. Um, so this is something you will have met at GCSE, so there really shouldn't be anything new here. We've moved from linear graphs, so straight line graphs, now to quadratics. And what that means is that, well, when I introduced linear graphs, what we were looking at was anything of the form y equals mx plus c. That's what we meant by linear. So the linear graph, being a straight line, has a gradient, and the c uh, tells you where it intersects the y-axis. Okay. When you go into quadratics, that just means we're going up by one power. We're going up to x squared. And in the way that we write it, an x with x squared, we could have any number of x squareds in it, okay, to make it quadratic. We could also have a linear term, and we could also have a constant term. Okay, so this is your quadratic term, the linear term, and a constant, okay? And this is the general format for a quadratic equation, okay, and a quadratic curve. Now, any quadratic curve that you plot or draw will have a particular shape. And that shape is known as a parabola. Now, a parabola looks something like this, okay? Um, in that format and shape. It could, depending on the value of A, be... Um, tighter, okay, so stretched inwards, or it could be stretched outwards, or it could stretch outwards so far that actually it goes upside down, okay, and these are both parabolas. They both have a line of symmetry down the middle, okay, and this works, um, you get this type of curve when A is positive, and you get this type of curve when A is negative, okay? So, depending on that value of A, that determines that number in front of the X squared, the coefficient of X squared, that determines which way around the curve would be. Um, so, the A also tells you, you know, a greater value of A means that it will be stretched further in, okay, so it will be narrower, and a value that is approaching zero will be more spread out, okay? Um, the value of C is really the only other thing that we can really work with. The B um, is a little bit more difficult to explain how that would uh, change the curve. But the C has a similar function to the C from your linear graph. The C tells you where the curve crosses the y-axis. So if we draw in some axes, and I draw a parabola, then this point will be the value of c. Okay, so this is some basic information as to what we are going to be looking at um, in this chapter. We'll be looking at expanding brackets, uh, factorising, completing the square, so and com using the quadratic formula, of course, so none of that should be new to you, but we will be relating it back to what that would mean graphically, okay? And we're going to learn how to sketch these curves and find all the inf interesting information about them, okay? So, lots of techniques that we'll, you'll learn here will be used in other later chapters and throughout A-level maths.